Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to give some advice on starting coding at age 32. Okay, so today I want to answer a question that came in on yesterday's video, number 633. This question comes from Mahmoud Yunus. Mahmoud says, I am 32 years old and I want to make a career shift to coding. I already have some experience, so any advice for me? Cool, and my advice would be the same to anybody learning how to code. Just get started. You don't realize what a great situation it is at the moment where you can learn how to do anything you want to do coding-wise for free. You don't have to spend money on an expensive course. You don't have to buy all the books. You don't have to go to university. You can start learning it for free and start doing it. Now, having a course would be good. Buying the book would be good. What I find those do is they give you structure. They allow you to make sure you don't miss out on any parts, right? It, but sometimes it's good just to get in there and start doing it. You learn more by doing than anything else. The downside of that is your code's going to be sloppy. You might work with somebody else in the future and they go, your code is terrible. But that's like a natural progression. We all go through that. We all write our first applications and they're like this really bad spaghetti code. It works, but it's you know, not technically great. And if you read a book or take a course, it goes through all the steps like that are not exciting like error handling or logging, things that are crucial to the, to the development process. But just get started. You can start doing that now and start making yourself marketable. And I would also say, and this is my personal opinion, I know other people disagree on this, is go for something that's new because you could be the expert on that while everyone else is still working on the last thing that they're being paid for. So you could be really proficient at something that is new. That's what I did. My background was, uh, I, was my his, I had a degree in history and I didn't get started till I was 26. And um, so I got my job in IT and then I started learning. I started learning the, the new stuff which was like ASP and, and VB at the time. And I started to get really good at it. And a lot of people were still using older languages and I became the expert at this in a very short amount of time and people were coming to me for advice and I assumed everybody read everything every day and they didn't. They were just they were just doing what they needed to get the job done. So if you're a motivated learner, you can escalate really, really fast. But Mahmoud, the thing that bothers me the most about the question you said was like, I am 32 years old and making a shift into coding. Being 32 years old is irrelevant, right? It's the same as if you said you were 16 and going into coding. It's, it's irrelevant. Anybody can learn it. Anybody can do it. If you said you were 60 and you were getting into coding, it's irrelevant. You're not you're not pitching for the Yankees. You're not you're not going into professional sports. There's there's no there's no reason the age is there. But I think it bothers you. You're starting to think that maybe you're a little bit too old to learn it. And that's dude, I am 46 and I would gladly trade places with you to be 32 again, right? It's just it's just the way it is. Throughout my entire life you go around looking at people who are more successful and more younger than you are or they got into something younger than you are and you think and you start thinking I wish I had started that when I was I wish I had started that when I was a teenager I wish I had started that when I was in my 20s I wish I had started that when I was in my 30s I if I was going to do it at all I should have done it in my 30s it's too late now I'm in my 40s there's no there's too, no point in doing it and you always do that and then another decade goes by another few years go by and then you look at it and I think one of the things that we see we see the young entrepreneurs who are really killing it and we think oh, I wish I had done that but I'm too old now and or um, you know I'm past my prime and I can't do it it's just not true right I, I think I'm starting to get to the fact that I don't want to be so I'm 46 now I don't want to be 56 thinking I wish I'd done that when I was 46 why did I think I was too old to do that when I was 46 I was I was so young back then I was so young right and that's just the way it is that's the way life goes and if you if you you should never stop and think that you're too old to learn something because you're not. Like I said, you're not trying to run a hundred, run a mile in four minutes. You're trying to, to learn how to code, and it's just those cognitive things which you know you, you can still do. I don't care what anybody says. I don't think coding is a young man's game. Although I don't want to be personally, I think I don't want to be 70 in coding. But you know, that's but it's still fun. It's still yeah, it's still cool to do. And I think I think you. Know, just work at it. I mean, it's going to be these little things that that click, and you're going to be bad at first, and you're going to you're going to suck at first. You're going to start doing it, and you're going to start building things, and you're going to start with a hello world program, and then you'll start connecting to databases, start doing the UI functions. You'll start putting stuff out there, and every everybody goes through the it sucks at first, 
and then you get better at it and you get better at it and you get better at it. But the funny thing is, when you produce your first application, like for me, it was a, um, actually, my, I remember producing a, my first website, like on my own, my personal website. And I did the same thing a lot of people did the, uh, their own websites at the time. Cam comic, I'm sorry, no, Comic Sans font, right? A picture of me on the front in a suit, uh, really bad copy, just really, uh, 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 uh. But you know, at the time I thought, this is really cool. So it just go through it, do the process. Eventually you start getting paid for it and start looking for jobs as soon as you can because somebody will hire you with your lack of experience and getting in there working with other developers would be good too. So Mike, so anybody out there who has other advice for Mahmood, uh, please put it in the comments because you know, we all help each other out here. But 32, 32 is not old. 32 is young, man. Anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.